Hello guys, this is Kai. So today I'm gonna introduce you a brand new laser module from Xtool. It's called 1064 Infrared Laser Module. What's this useful? Don't worry, I'm gonna teach you step by step how to assemble this one with D1 Pro, also make some projects, and you will know everything about this laser module. Let's go check it out. First of all, we got a box here, and open it. You got user menu, then you can learn everything about this one. And there you go, this is our brand new infrared laser module. I'm gonna put it aside first. And the last thing is about the power adapter. This one is the unique one only for this infrared laser module. Okay, so now I can open this one. So compared with the blue laser module, this one is designed with the highlighted acrylic in the front. And that's gonna help you to distinguish from the blue ones. You probably noticed this one is a little bit bigger than the normal blue light laser module as we install more components inside. And the infrared laser module uses laser pumping technology, which generates more heat during the process. And then the high temperature probably damage the components inside and then reduce the output power. So there are two measures are taken to protect this module. First, we use more cooling fins to slow the rising of temperature, which ensures a longer processing duration at a time. And second, we add an over temperature indicator here, which has the yellow light gonna instruct you to stop processing when the over temperature protection is triggered. This infrared laser module comes with a different power adapter, which has a green label sticker on it. Especially when you have multiple adapters on your hand, you're gonna know which one belongs to this infrared laser module. But why we use a special one? Because the infrared laser module requires higher power. If you use the normal adapters, the laser power won't be output correctly. Then the engraving and cutting results will deteriorate. Okay, now I'm gonna teach you how to assemble this laser module with our D1 Pro. So the first thing you wanna do is turn off the power switch. Okay, next we're gonna change into the new special power adapter for infrared laser module. Just remove the original one. And then put on this new one with the green label sticker. Okay, it's time to replace the blue laser head with this new infrared laser module. Just loosen the toggle tag and then slowly take out this laser head and remember to take out this cable. Put on the new infrared laser head. and tighten the toggle tag. The next step is very important. It's about the focus adjustment. The infrared laser module focus lens is 20 millimeters and the depth of the focus is only one millimeter. That requires you to be very precise when you do the focus lens. So you need a stainless steel to do the test. Okay, remember to turn on the power and then put the setting bar down. Loosen the toggle tag, slowly move the laser module to allow the tip of the setting bar touch the surface of your material. And then tighten the toggle tag and to fix the laser module and remember to put the setting bar back. Do you notice there's no red crowds showing up on the surface? That's because we install the red cross positioning function inside the laser module. The red cross for positioning falls at the same place as the infrared laser beam. That's the place where the laser module is gonna start to engrave. So in this way, framing is more accurate and visible. The infrared laser module supports both XCS, which is X-Tool Creative Space, and LabBurn. 
But when you use lab burn, just remember to disable the offset setting in device settings. For more details, please check out support.x2.com. Okay, let's move over to the software XCS. Just make sure you connect your laptop with Debian Pro. As you can see, this is my name. Uh, we select it and choose the laser flat, choose the user defined material and engrave. So we're gonna set up the power at 100%. We're gonna run at speed of 20 millimeters per second for one pass. So for both XCS and LED burn with the default resolution setting, which is the line per centimeters on XCS, is quite low. So the engraving results are not as good as expected. So you better set up a higher resolution. We're gonna try 300 lines per centimeters. There's one more thing I'd like to emphasize with you guys because we know there's some technological geeks out there they probably want to know the details about this infrared laser module so I'm gonna tell something quite like academic or technological so please bear with me so the 455 nanometers blue light is semiconductor laser beam which uh, continues to wave laser beam whereas 1064 infrared laser are using this like laser pumping technology which emits 808 nanometer laser beams and then it's converted into 1064 laser beams through a special crystal so this crystal inside and this crystal is quite natural so each individual slightly different from one to another which results in difference like output power so we suggest you to do multiple times uh, like engraving parameter test before you actually start creating your works so everything is ready Let's hit the process and framing it. Complete and hit the start. You can just observe the engraving process. If you see a bright spot and hear the sound of zzz, zzz, the focus is successfully set. The infrared laser is perfect for engraving all my toes. I mean, look at this. It's very cute, isn't it? So if you engrave on the black color of stainless steel, the pattern color will be white. But if you choose silver color of stainless steel, the pattern color could be different, maybe black. So just do some tests. And at the same time, I'd like to let you know, like the infrared laser module is perfect for engraving on the plastic, such as acrylic. You can make a white sign like this. So that's pretty much everything about Infrared Laser Module today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and see you next time.